Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. You miss your old familiar friends waiting just around the bed. Friday, September 11th. I'm Addie, and this is KGTR. In addition to football kicking off their season, cross country is gearing up for another great year. Let's go to Reagan for more on this story. Hey Gators! This year, Captain Tree's cross country team is already working hard to make their meet successful. Coach Hilburn has already been practicing with the team to ensure more great wins this season. Hey, my favorite thing about coaching really is taking runners who've never run before, uh, maybe even a person who does not think they're an athlete, and teaching them that they can drive themselves and push themselves into a level that they never thought possible. And I've got my daughter on my team, which is really special. This is my fourth season, and uh, Samantha's done an incredible job of motivating others and pushing herself beyond her capabilities, and, and we've had some great success that I'm proud of. Some of the runners, including Coach Hilburn's daughter, had some things to say about practice. Um, dad coaching is, it's good and bad. There's probably some pros and cons. It's great that I get to see my dad at practice every day, but it also makes me work a little harder. You get to free your mind and run. It's just you and the check. These runners are working very hard to not only improve their times at meets, but also balance schoolwork. Little known fact about cross country. Top GPA of any sport on the campus at any school. So you got your top athletes and your top academics right here. And practices are hard and they're hot right now. It's probably like over 100 degrees, but we encourage anybody who's interested to come out and run because, I mean, you can become a runner from any level. I've been running for a few years. We are all very excited to see what this year holds. If you would like to be a part of the cross country team, please contact Coach Hilburn at gatorxc at gmail.com or visit the cross country tab on Captain Tree's website. Back to you, Addie. Every time I come out here, there's trash on the ground. I know we all like to come outside for lunch, Make sure to head out to Calvary this Saturday to support our cross country team. With the new year starting here at Shreve, our drama club is preparing for an all new spring musical. Here's Katie to tell us more about it. Hey Gators, clubs and organizations around the school are really getting into the Gator spirit. Do you like musicals or maybe fried chicken? Then Drama Club might be the club for you. Every spring, the Drama Club performs an awesome musical. In past years, these have included Annie Get Your Gun, Zombie Prom, and Guys and Dolls. The spring musical will be March 10th and 11th, and we haven't chosen a show yet. I know everyone's very anxious about that. Um, but we're going to have open auditions on September 29th, 30th, and October 1st. With Bird Shreve Rivalry Week fast approaching, the Drama Club is sponsoring the annual Bird Fry, a fun way to get into the Gator spirit before the huge bird game. Well, on September 23rd, which is the Wednesday before we play Bird on Thursday, the Drama Club is sponsoring a Bird Fry. It'll be at the... Um, baseball field pavilion area from 4 until 6 and the tickets are $6. Um, they include a fried chicken dinner and performances by Gator Spirit Groups. Drama Club is open to all new members. They welcome students who love to sing and perform on stage. Drama Club was lots of fun because you get to meet lots of new people and you get to experience lots of new things. We received lots of new faces in Drama Club, so this gives us the opportunity to do more shows, more projects, and to have more fun. Come out and support Drama Club at 5.30 September 23rd at the Pavilion. 
Come out for an awesome time. Back to you, Eddie. If you're interested in joining Drama Club, make sure to see Miss Mayhem in room A210 for more information. Our Lady Gator soft volleyball team is also off to another great start. Let's go to Luke for more on this story. What's up, fellow Gators? I'm Luke. On September 1st, the Lady Gators opened their season with a win against the Mansfield Wolverines. They made a statement with their dominant performance, winning three of four games. Katie Mackins had a couple of key plays to assist in the ladies' victory over Mansfield. We won our first game of the season, so that's a great way to start it off. And we can only just keep improving as a team and keep getting better from here, so it should be a good season. Kayla Jenkins is a newcomer to the Lady Gators varsity volleyball team. She gives her thoughts on her first year and tells us the strengths of their team. Um, being on varsity for me feels like a great opportunity. The Gators look to build on these early season wins to carry them throughout the season. Come out and support your Lady Gators Monday in the gym as they take on Houghton to open their district schedule at 7 p.m. I'm Luke for KGTR. Back to you, Addie. We're so proud of our volleyball team. Keep up the great work, ladies. Don't forget to come out to Lee Hedges tonight at 7 to support our football team and wear your best red, white, and blue attire. Well, that's all for now, Gators. I'm Addie, and this has been another fantastic episode of KGTR. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening.